A very good evening and welcome to today's edition of KTN Sports. My name is Moses Wahisi. Now starting on our football gear, Football Kenya Federation will move to the official resident at the Gold Project in the first week of February. FIFA's Regional Development Officer Ashford Mamelodi inspected the project that was rehabilitated at a cost of over 25 million Kenyan shillings and saves for some few innovations the Federation has got a go ahead and is set to move in the Nyayo offices. After pumping in over 25 million shillings, the gold project is finally ready for occupation. The Federation has been operating from a small office at the Nyayo National Stadium, and according to Ashford Bamelodi, FIFA was not amused, having built these offices but were neglected and run down. It has always been a concern that um, these premises were not occupied, and we understood why they were not occupied, because at the time they were not habitable. After discussions with FIFA, we agreed that we have to renovate this uh, um, facility. We don't want to be spending money when we have our own facility. It has taken about uh, one and a half months to do this work. There was practically nothing. The place was vandalized and run down. When we visited the place, workers were putting up the perimeter fence, finalizing on the kitchen while the offices are ready and what is remaining is the dormitories and the parking bay. We are occupying the place and we intend to occupy this place before the end of this month or let's say first week of next month. We are supposed to do the next phase which is uh, the hostels. Mm -hmm. uh, that might take us uh, about a month. Okay. So by the end of, uh, by mid-February we are supposed to hand over. There are plans to build two stadiums near the facility in the near future. Hans and Juma. KTN Sports.